Once again, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Sorry. I hope everyone had a nice lunch and are looking forward to this. Hello? Yeah. I hope everyone had a nice lunch and are looking forward to this power packed afternoon. It's an honor to be a part of this event. Thank you, IIS, especially Uncle Feroz, for this lovely opportunity. When mom told me a few weeks back, Kia, you have been invited to the India Inclusion Summit. I was taken by surprise. India Inclusion Summit? How often do you come across an event with the word inclusion in its name? Very rarely, right? It's important that I today share what the word inclusion means to me. Over these 12 years of growing up, I have been excluded many times owing to my disability, except for times like this one. Abandoned by my own father, refused school admissions, denied friendships, prohibited access to places, and so on. Trust me when I say that till date, the word disability confuses me. On one hand, I'm above average in my academics. I'm a self-trained hand and digital artist. I can code my own apps, one of which has even gone up on Play Store. I'm an aspiring YouTuber and podcaster. Do look up my channel on YouTube called Kia Fights SMA. While recuperating for my spine correction surgery recently, I authored my first book called Dancing on My Wheels. This book proved lucky for me. It won a national award in March this year, selling over 1,000 copies in less than a month. On the other hand, I've never played in a park or on the school play field, taken part in field sports, traveled by public transport, or get invited to many birthday parties, since I'm a wheelchair-bound child. Does this mean I'm completely disabled or crippled? Wonder alongside, what does the word ability mean? Ultimately, who defines it? Why do I hear the word society around these terms? People like me get excluded from everyday lives of others. Instead, we receive, we receive pity in abundance of our condition. Oh, sad, poor oh, little thing, Richardi, is all we get. To my naive mind, this is purely because of the lack of acceptance people have for us. For me, a large part of who we are and how we behave with each other is owing to the way we are brought up or the set of experiences we grow with. To make our world a more inclusive and empathetic place, we all need to have an equal place, irrespective of how we are. Even the constitution of our country promotes equality, freedom, and forbids discrimination. These thoughts inspired me to write my book, Dancing on My Wheel. It's a short story about a little girl named Rose, who was born normal, but later diagnosed with a scary disease, which slowly took away her ability to move as she grew up. But thanks to her mom and sister, Rose never felt the lack of any support. She grows up to become a change maker and stand for her community. The story touched many hearts, and seeing this, I realized my biggest, my biggest strength would always be to write and speak to raise awareness. I have been at it 
non-stop since, taking every opportunity to spread the cause. This book is the reason why I am in front of all of you wonderful people. I'm also grateful to the universe for connecting us to the right people who also believe in the things I do. This makes me feel less, less excluded from everything in life. This is what inclusion can do to one's life. Make them strong and capable. <laughs> Was lucky to speak at large CSR events organized by companies like Economic Times, Adobe, Nascom, etc. Through these events, I have been able to create awareness about SMA. We could also raise funds for fellow SMA families in India. Our government and insurance companies both do not support our expensive life-saving treatments. Hence, prevention is the key for which we need to engage, educate, and then eliminate SMA. This is now the mission of my life, as I do not want others to go through what I have. Today, I represent the voice of all the SMA warriors in our country who are gradually losing their battle with this disease. Let's unite for this cause, because I believe I am possible to you. Life hasn't been a fairy tale for us. I've seen my mom struggle to manage us over the years, but without giving up. She's an architect by profession who's had to give up her work to become my full-time caregiver. My elder sister schools from home because we have been shifting cities for my treatment. My SMA treatment costs 80 lakhs year on year. Imagine how hard it must be for mom to fundraise for this amount to keep me going. It's truly I have no words. We have been dealing with every challenge in life with a big smile. Mom tells me there is nothing impossible in life if you set your mind to it. Each of us is able in some and not able in some. But we need to believe in our abilities over disabilities. And hence my life motto is I am possible and smile. I love sharing these few moments, speaking with you from my heart. For those who wish to stay in touch, my website, www.kiafightsme, with the double S, has all my links. Thank you for all listening to me. At last, my name is Kia. I am an SME warrior. SME is a rare terminal progressive neuromuscular genetic disorder but SMA does not define me. Without further ado, we'd like to invite our next guest.